Hey everybody, this is a top view of my layout and I've got a couple of requests lately about what track plan this layout is made of. And well, the truth is that I don't really have a track plan, at least not on paper. So if you want a track plan or a view of the layout, then here is a top view that you can pause and take a look. When I started this layout a couple of years ago, I think I should have planned a little more ahead than I did. Because I didn't really know where to start and where to end, so I just laid some tracks, ran some trains, and then I built the layout around the tracks. The idea to begin with was a double oval with a few sidings and an industrial area. But the layout has been expanded and modified over time into this area here, which also basically is an oval layout with sidings and connected to the first layout with bridges here. But without a proper plan to begin with, I ran into a lot of trouble. I made all mistakes possible, but the good thing was that I learned from it. And now it seems that I had the chance to correct some of my mistakes and do a layout with the proper planning and a track plan to begin with. The reason why I haven't done so much work on the layout lately is that I have to move it. Or I have to begin all over. Because this room that the layout is in has to be used for another purpose. But I will have my very own model train and hobby room upstairs. So it might be the end of this layout, but it will also be a new beginning. And I am actually very excited about it. I won't have my new room for maybe half a year from now, but when I have, I look forward to begin a new model layout adventure. Then we'll see which parts of this layout will make it into the new one. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you'll join me for future updates.